Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Juella. So, today is Sunday, the 10th of January, and this is basically my week two weight loss kind of diary catch-up type thing. <laughs> so I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be a short one or it might be a long one. You know what I'm like though, guys. Once I start talking, yab, 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 20 minutes in, I'm still talking. But I'm hoping to keep it a little bit shorter than last time. Last week's video was a bit longer, purely because I was explaining quite a lot to do with weight loss and my personal journey with it. So we are on week two now, we're at the beginning of week two. So at the end of week one, I am going to tell you if I have lost any weight, stayed the same or gained any weight. So basically, I've lost weight guys. I've lost two pounds and I'm absolutely thrilled with that two pound weight loss. It's only two pounds and the chances are it came off in fluids rather than fat. But at the end of the day, it's still the numbers going down. So that's, I'm happy enough to say it. I really truly am. And yes, I would have liked that number to have been a bit bigger, but I'm realistic. I'd only made little tweaks in what I was eating basically for the last eight days. So I couldn't expect the numbers to be massive. I really couldn't. Fair enough if I was to have ate like a rabbit, you know, lettuce leaves and rye vita every single day and raw carrots and nothing else, then I would expect that number to be quite big. But because all I did was just make a few little tweaks, kind of reduce my portion sizes just ever so slightly. And yeah, just kind of made a few little cutbacks here and there. I'm perfectly happy with a two pound weight loss. It's still a, a good thing and a positive thing. So yeah, two pounds down. So I am now in the 14s guys. At first, at the beginning, I was 15 stone one pound. And I was doing it in kilograms, but that just completely threw us off because I'm used to doing it in stones and pounds. So I was 15 stone one pound and I'm now 14 stone 13 pounds. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have hit the 14s. I really, really am. The chances are <clears throat> the last time I was 14 stone or in the 14s must have been a year or more ago. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have hit that now. So yeah, I'm just going to keep going with it. And as far as weight loss goes, if I want to see that number, you know, decrease even further, I don't hold out a lot of hope if I stick to the exact same thing that I did this week. So just by making a few little cutbacks and cutting the portion sizes a little bit and trying not to snack after my evening meal, that was okay for week one. But week two, as the weeks go by, you've got to progress. And when I say progress, it just means by just starting to add a few more steps into your day. This is my way, obviously I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, and I'm not a, a personal trainer or anything like that. But, you know, I've done a million and one diets over the years, guys, and I don't like the word diet, it's a bloody dirty word. And as soon as you think of the word diet and you focus on that, you think about, you know, depriving yourself of foods that you actually really quite like. And then what happens? You're gonna want to binge eat those foods. It's like somebody saying, you can think about any colour in the rainbow, but do not think about the colour red. What you're going to do, you're going to think about the colour red. So it's almost like a psychological thing. It's like a psychosomatic thing. It's like if your brain tells you you can't have something, you're going to want it. So, be like a naughty child. Don't do that, but they're going to do it. Don't touch that TV remote. They're going to touch it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm not depriving myself because I don't think that's the right way to go. That's my personal choice. Some people have got to be really strict and regimental with themselves like that. But at the minute, I'm not doing that. In the future, I might have to start depriving myself of little treats. But at the minute, I'm not doing that. I'm still having little bits of sweet stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the meal plan of what I did actually end up eating the last seven or eight days and also some of the snacks that I ate and what I drank as well. Now, I only lost two pounds, guys, and at the end of the day, when you get weighed, only do it once a week. Do it on a morning first thing, preferably after you've been to, a to, been to the toilet because that can make a difference, okay? Whether it be a 10-100 or a 10-200, you know what I'm talking about, guys. The number ones, the number twos, or both. 
it's best to kind of rid your body of as much waste as you can before you get weighed because that can make a difference as can the time of the month when it comes to your hormones and stuff like that it can make a difference with the bloat and everything but luckily I don't get that anymore because I'm on a hormonal pill which completely stops that so that's fantastic but that's another story and it's pretty boring so I don't need to tell you about that anyway so this is what I ate over the last seven or eight days basically every morning I've pretty much had toast for breakfast but two mornings this week I didn't have any breakfast now that wasn't out of choice it was purely because I'd slept really bad through the night and I ended up sleeping most of the morning so by the time I was up and showered and done a few potted about the house doing a few little chores it was lunchtime so I just didn't have time to squeeze breakfast in but I do not advise skipping meals you should always make sure you get a good hearty healthy breakfast it's so important but it's just what happened with me because of my sleep pattern anyway so toast time it's always toast time breakfast time it's always nearly toast and on a weekend i'll sometimes have poached eggs on toast which i've had this morning so on saturday the 2nd of january when i pretty much started this my lunch was king prawn linguine which was only 400 calories and the dinner was chicken, Mediterranean vegetables and some little curly fries. The next day for lunch I had bacon, lettuce, tomato flatbreads, BLT in a flatbread. And for dinner I had some chilli salmon, some stir fried veg, some salad with a tiny bit of feta cheese crumbled on which I love. Just gives it that nice little salty kick and a bit of a texture change. And a small amount of lime and coriander rice which I do really like goes really nice with the spicy salmon as well on the Monday for lunch I had a boiled egg salad by the way all of these pictures well not all of them but some of them are on my Instagram account just of a few meals that I've had through the last week so I had a boiled egg salad and then for dinner chicken and vegetable stir fry Tuesday I had a ham and cucumber sandwich for lunch and I didn't enjoy the bread do you know that I don't eat a lot of bread anyway but I didn't enjoy the bread at all so I left most of it so basically I had ham and cucumber <laughs> and with that I had a packet of low fat crisps which is the baked variety now crisps are a weakness of mine but I'll tell you about that in the snacks for dinner I had some spaghetti bolognese and a handful of pasta so I didn't have too much pasta just had a handful of pasta shells the next day, Wednesday, for lunch I had a fish cake with some hot sauce on the top, some smoked salmon and some salad, which was really nice. For dinner I had vegetarian sausages, the Linda McCartney ones, which I personally think are okay. My husband's not very keen on them, but I said, look, they are so much healthier than normal bangers, so we're having them. <laughs> I did some homemade potato wedges and some baked beans, very old school, but fairly healthy, wasn't too unhealthy. And the homemade wedges i just put the one calorie um like kind of oil spray on and i put more than one spray on so i probably put about 15 sprays on all of them so it's like 15 calories it's nothing and i'm not calorie counting that's another thing i'm not doing but i'm just making all these little efforts these conscious efforts to try and keep the calories down a little bit on the thursday for lunch i had pesto pasta with some ham and a little bit of feta cheese and some sun-dried tomatoes now I didn't enjoy that as much as I thought I would honestly I didn't I much prefer it when I chop loads of vegetables up and spring onions and put them in with the pasta but I just didn't have time I was I was so busy doing other things that day that it was just a case of right quickly boil some pasta chop some ham up sprinkled some cheese on and got some sun-dried tomatoes out of the jar and I didn't enjoy it that much so that's good that I didn't enjoy the pasta because obviously pasta is full of carbohydrate then for dinner that day it was lovely I did a Thai red curry with chicken and I had that with some rice and that was really really quite nice and the Friday sorry I'm just moving over the pages because I've got everything written down for the lunch I had a vegetable wrap with lettuce so basically like a fajita wrap but it was just peppers and onions and spinach and I had that with lettuce and a little bit of cheese and then for tea on Friday, I had my treat. I had a Chinese takeaway. But I don't think I did that bad. I didn't completely stuff my face. I was kind of full to a happy level. And then I kind of said, right, that's enough. I've had enough now. So I'll tell you what I had, even though this is probably incredibly boring. But it's just so that you can get an idea of what you probably can eat and still get a little bit of a weight loss. 
at first not overall but at first <laughs> so yeah i had two barbecue split herp two barbecue spare ribs i'm getting tongue-tied i was thinking of spring rolls i had two barbecue spare ribs i had what did i have a handful of chips a little bit of curry sauce a bit of singapore chow mein which is like a mixed um kind of dry chow mein there's no sauce on it or anything and a couple of prawns which have got like a tempura batter on which i know is not great but i just had a couple of them and i dipped them into the curry sauce and that's literally all i had it might sound like it was a lot but it was just like a few little bits on a plate like a picky plate of, of food and it was really nice i really thoroughly enjoyed it so i really did enjoy my takeaway on friday and i've done that for years we've always had a takeaway on a friday so I'm just kind of going to test the waters out to see if I can continue to do that and get a weight loss over the next couple of weeks or if I have to really think about making that a once a fortnight treat rather than once a week. So on Saturday, yesterday, for lunch, I did some homemade sweet potato soup. Now in that soup, dead, dead simple to do, sweet potatoes, onions, celery, fresh garlic, a red chilli, a fresh red chilli and some chicken stock, water, salt and pepper. Dead easy, dead simple. You could put cinnamon in there if you want. I think that would be quite nice, but I didn't yesterday, but I would certainly consider doing that again. Sweet potatoes are a complex carbohydrate. They are kind of what you call a healthy carb to eat. So you can eat sweet potatoes. They're better than normal potatoes. They're not quite as bad. So yeah, I did some sweet potato soup and really enjoyed it. No bread and butter with it, because obviously, you know, I'm trying to cut back on things like that. And luckily, I'm not a bread fiend anyway. I don't normally eat a lot of it. For dinner, I made some homemade beef burgers, which is just lean beef mince and some onions all kind of chopped together, rolled up in a bowl, squashed down into a patty and fry them in a frying pan with some low calorie spray. So I did them and we had that with some homemade potato wedges and some salad. So that is basically what I had for that week. And I had a two pound weight loss. Now I did have snacks in between because I did find myself at times almost wanting to eat my arm and that you might think to yourself well they're like good hearty wholesome meals that you've had how could you be hungry in between pretty easily when you've got a stomach that's been a bit stretched and your stomach's bigger than it should be it's easy to get those hunger pains and be craving more food when you cut your portion sizes down and you might be craving more sweet foods if you're used to them. So snack wise, I had seafood sticks, which are really low in fat and not too bad for you. I had cucumber. I had the low fat Metcalf sweet and salt popcorn, which I really, really like. And it's a good way to wean yourself off sugars. A friend of mine was doing that not so long ago and she swears by it. And yeah, I do like it. I do like a bit of sweet and salty popcorn. I also had a couple of Freddo bars, a little Cadbury's chocolate Freddo bars, which are tiny but they just helped us with that little sweet craving this week. I had one Milky Way, which again are absolutely tiny. I had a packet of Love Hearts. My dog ate half of them, it wasn't just me, and my husband pinched them as well. I had two marshmallow flumps, which are like these like long marshmallows, but they're really low in fat, but obviously they've got sugar in them. Um, but it just helped me with that little sweet craving, and it was so much healthier than like reaching for a, a full-size four-finger Kit Kat or something like that. I just think that having a little bit of sugar like that or just a small amount of chocolate it's just little cutbacks it's cutting down it's not necessarily cutting out it's just cutting down and other than that all week i was very proud of myself with the crisp situation because i could sit and eat crisps every day since i was a kid i've absolutely loved crisps so this week i only had two packets of crisps all week two packets of crisps and they were the baked version so there were 50% of less fat of the normal crisps that I would eat. So I was so proud of myself with the crisps. I really was. So for me, that's probably where my weight loss came into play. Basically by cutting the crisps out and not eating quite as much chocolate. Dinner-wise, meal-wise, I think that it's just really well balanced and varied, which is the way it should be. As long as your plate of dinner looks quite colourful and you get as many bright colours in, the greens, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, they are the things that are really good for you, the greens in particular, if you can stomach them. But yeah, that's the snacks that I had. As far as drinks go, luckily I don't drink alcohol, although I do miss it, but I haven't drank in years. Um, just to do with medication I'm on, it kind of interacts and counteracts the meds. So sadly I can't drink, but anyway, I do miss it. I do miss a nice glass of wine. 
So yeah, drink wise, same as ever, sugar free fizzy pop, which I know is not fantastic, but it's not sugar, it's sweeteners, which is kind of better than sugar sometimes. So sugar free, caffeine free Coke, sugar free juice, like dilute juice, J2Os, which are light in sugar, but not no sugar, but there's not a lot of sugar in them. I had the sparkling watermelon one and I absolutely love it. It's just so nice. It's a nice little sweet treat as well. Black decaf tea. Sometimes I have it with a little bit of honey and lemon in because I've always got a sore throat as anybody who knows me knows. Water with a bit of lemon in. I do like a nice glass of water and fresh orange juice. So that is basically what I have drank and eaten for the last week. And I have that managed a two pound weight loss. So I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. But I'm well aware that I'm probably going to need to forever tweak things. Every week as it comes, I'm going to be doing a meal plan on a Saturday night for the following week at the beginning of the week, which I'm going to class as a, as a Sunday. So dinner wise today, like I say, I've had toast and egg for breakfast. Um, I'm having more sweet potato soup for lunch because I've got some left over. So that's my lunch. And for dinner, I've got some chicken defrosting, which I'm going to do in a honey and mustard sauce. And I'm going to have that with some vegetables and a little bit of rice. So that's today's dinner. Now I'm going to go through very vaguely, very quickly, my meal plan with you for the next week. I'm so sorry this is going to be a long video. Like I thought I was just going to make these videos and these updates quite short. But you know what I'm like when I start talking I just don't know when to shut up. <laughs> and my foot's going numb as well. So I don't know how that is but I've gone numb foot. Probably because my jeans are too tight. Which tells you I need to lose more weight. Anyway, so Monday, tomorrow, like I say, every day of the week, toast for breakfast. One or two slices, just depends, and it's always Weight Watchers bread usually. Lunch tomorrow is egg salad with ham. How exciting. <laughs> then dinner is some salmon done in the oven, some baked salmon with some lemon on, some stir-fried veggies, and some golden vegetable rice, which is like the little frozen bags you get, the bird's eye ones which are nice enough that honestly they're, they're perfectly all right. Then Tuesday, I'm gonna make some homemade cheese savory and have that with some crackers. But my homemade cheese savory is a lot of carrot, cabbage, onion, low fat mayonnaise, mustard, and a little bit of cheese. So there's not a lot of cheese goes in there, but it's nice, it's tasty. It can just repeat on you a bit because it's full of like, you know, raw vegetables. Then for dinner, I might make some homemade meatballs and have it with a bit of rice. Obviously, you would normally have spaghetti with meatballs, but my husband does not like spaghetti. I know, it's absolutely crazy. He doesn't like spaghetti. And I've got Italian blood running through my veins, and I love spaghetti. I love spaghetti so, so much. Especially with, like, with some, some nice garlic and stuff. Mm, just so nice. Anyway, Wednesday for lunch, king prawn linguine again, because that's the day I get my shopping delivered. So that should be nice and fresh when I get it. They're just ready meals, but... I don't often have a ready meal and that's quite a healthy one. Then for dinner, I've got a, I'm gonna buy a roast chicken in a bag and then I'm gonna roast it up and then I'm gonna pick it all and make some homemade chicken soup. Because I love a bit of chicken soup and there'll be plenty of tubs to freeze as well, so that's good that we've got them in for lunches the following week. So for dinner, yeah, chicken soup with possibly some nice crusty bread and a little bit of butter because you shouldn't cut these things out 100% and I want to see what it does with the weight loss on the second week by still having the same amount of carbs as I've had this week. So Thursday, lunch, ham, egg, beetroot salad and a flatbread. Dinner, chipotle salmon, which is like a spicy uh, chilli salmon with vegetable stir fry and rice. The Friday lunch sandwich, um, like a pita, pita bread sandwich, like with salad in and hot sauce. And for dinner, we'll probably have a takeaway, but I don't know what yet. Probably an Indian, to be honest, because it was Chinese this last few days. So next week, it's my husband's choice, which is nearly always Indian. I always go Chinese and he normally chooses Indian. Then Saturday, I'm going to have a egg for my breakfast with the toast because it's nice to just mix the toast up a little bit once a week. <laughs> I wish I could eat cereal because porridge oats are so good for you in so many different ways. They lower your cholesterol, they help with your blood pressure and they're also very filling. But yeah, I just can't stand porridge. I've tried it so many times and I absolutely hate it. 
but I wish I could eat it. My advice is if you like porridge, get it in you as many times a week as you can because it's really filling and really good for you. And then for lunch, I am going to have bacon, salad and pita bread, but it's going to be lean bacon with no fat on it, hopefully. And if there is fat, I just cut it off and I cook it in the oven anyway. For dinner, corn chicken stir fry with a red Thai curry sauce with some rice. And then on the Sunday, possibly some sort of pasta, vegetable pasta for lunch with pesto sauce. And for dinner, a chicken casserole. So yeah, that's my plans for the next week. And then on this page, I've just got my weight loss actually written down. So last Sunday, like I said, I was 15 stone one pound. And this Sunday, I was 14 stone 13 pounds, which like I say is a two pound weight loss. And I'm thrilled with that two pounds because if I can manage to lose two pounds with just making those little cutbacks and just being a little bit strict with myself, but not much, then that's absolutely absolutely fantastic however like I say I know I'm going to need to tweak it as time goes on like constantly I'm going to have to keep up in my game with it and also adding in physical exercise so yeah I'm well aware of that so yeah anyway I am 20 minutes in I'm so sorry this video is quite long and I could ramble on all day about my thoughts on fad diets and weight loss aids of people drinking lotions and potions and taking medication to help them lose weight I could talk about that all day long and how I don't particularly agree with it, but that's my personal choice because I just think that it's more soul destroying when you see those numbers go down really fast and then you stop those things because you can't take them forever and then all of a sudden the numbers stagnate or you gain weight and it's like, well, it's because you didn't do it quite the right way, you know? I think that those things are great if you need to get in, uh, you know, losing one dress size to get into someone, you're dressed for someone's wedding or for your own wedding. I can understand, you know, you're doing these quick fixes, but I think that it should be more of a lifestyle change, really. And yeah, you're only kidding yourself if you get on the scales and you've got a big weight loss, but it's because of something you've drank or taken to get you to that stage then you know you haven't done it, you know, organically yourself, really. Um, but that's just my thoughts on it. Plus, a lot of people think that if something's plant-based, that it's safe. Not true. Magic mushrooms, are they safe to eat? You know, marijuana, you know, I don't really want to get into the whole drug kind of topic, but illegal substances are not necessarily safe. But they are plant-based, many of them. Not all of them, but many of them. But I still wouldn't be out there recommending people to, to smoke them, eat them or take them just because they're plant based, you know. So I think that you've you've really got to think about what you're putting into your body. And that means everything. It really does. And it's always good to talk to a GP or a dietitian about it. Don't take my word for it because these are just my opinions. It doesn't particularly make us right or wrong. It's just my opinion. Anyway. To anybody who has joined me on this weight loss journey, let me know in the comments how you're doing so far. January is a notoriously difficult month to do any kind of dieting, to do any kind of cutbacks when you know you've got like extra chocolates and sweets in the house. It's obviously gonna be hard, right? But if you've got family in the house with you and you don't live on your own, push the treaties onto them a little bit more and just, you know, indulge them yourself a little bit every now and again. I think that everything in moderation eventually when you get your weight loss on a roll. But for me, I'm just making these gradual little kind of cutbacks and I will be tweaking it, like I say. You'll see in four weeks time, it'll be probably quite drastically tweaked from what it is now. As in my sweet treats might be 10 calorie jelly pots, which I used to eat years ago. And I'm going to get back into eating soon, which reminds us I need to put them on my, my Asda delivery, which is coming on Wednesday. So I need to have a little look online to see if they've got them. Knowing my luck, they'll be out of stock. That would be just about my luck, wouldn't it? But anyway, that's the plan anyway, just for little sweet kicks. And I have recently talked to one of my friends about this as well, who she knows quite a lot about like exercises and weight loss because she does stick to something really well herself. So I have discussed this with her lately as well. And it's been really nice to have other people's insights on it. So if you yourself are embarking on any kind of weight loss, any hints, tips, advice, pop them in the comments, not just for myself, but for other people who might be reading them as well. Anyway, I think I've waffled on enough now. Like I say, guys, two pound weight loss, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. 
I'll take it over stagnating because I honestly thought when I stepped on the scales this morning that I was going to be exactly the same weight and I'll just add I hadn't been to the toilet at that point either so there you go I might be even lighter than that <laughs> sorry for being a bit graphic there but I don't think it was too graphic anyway yeah so good luck everyone if you're on this journey with us and you know if you're not then maybe it might inspire you a little bit and I promise I'll stand up to show you the size of my stomach soon I would do it right now but I don't know if you're going to see it very well it's not that I'm absolutely huge don't get us wrong I'm not like the Michelin man but all you ever see on camera is obviously me from here up but I'm going to do it anyway just for a little treat at the end here for you but I don't know what you're going to see so you're going to see a stand up now so it's going to cut me head off but you'll see me fat belly so you'll see what I mean by it's my target area to go. So that's my boobs, which are obviously quite big. This is my stomach area. Now you might not think it looks that big, but trust us, there's an overhang. There's a tire here. There is a definite tire. And when you look at the from the front view, sorry, this looks terrible. Um, I should go in at the waist here, but yeah, it's exactly the same as around there, really. It's far too big. And I can't really stand any further back, but yeah. So anyway, hopefully that gave you a little bit of an idea on what my figure's like. I'm literally apple shaped on the middle and then I haven't got a very big bum. I'm a size 14 around the bum and my legs are kind of in keeping with the rest of my figure. To be honest, they're not skinny. I've never had skinny legs. <laughs> anyway, the aim for me is to get my stomach size down more than anything and hopefully do some exercises to get rid of the bingo wings. If anybody knows any for that, then please, you know, pop your hints, tips and advice in the comments. But ultimately, I think the best thing is like sort of stretches, even holding a couple of bean cans and doing like, you know, acting as if they're weights, basically to stretch and exercise that part of the arm. Anyway, right, I'm waffling. I said I wasn't going to stand up and show you my fat belly and I've already done that. But anyway, I don't have any stomach holding in pants on either, guys. It's literally just I've got a vest top on and then I've got a long sleeved kind of jersey on top. I don't wear stomach control pants or anything like that. I just wear normal pants. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to get going. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it hasn't bored you too much. It's just a little bit different from the beauty ones. And I thought I would share this weight loss kind of journey with you all to hold me accountable for one, because I'll feel like a right tit if I don't stick to it, but also to help inspire other people and motivate other people, hopefully. And yeah, lots of new things to come. I do plan on doing some art videos soon as well, but it just involves a lot of mess, a lot of prep work, a lot of mess and a lot of clean up, but I will do them at some point soon, over the next month or two, I promise which I know I'm saying soon over the next month or two, but I'm so busy at the moment because I'm currently building my next Juella box to go out in the next couple of weeks. So that's keeping us mega busy right now. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to get going now. I said I was going to get going like a few minutes ago and I'm still waffling away. But I told you what I was like, didn't I, guys? I said at the beginning I'm going to try and keep this video short. What happens? 27 minutes in, I'm still talking. That's definitely my cue to say goodbye for now but thanks so much for watching and i look forward to hearing from you all and i'm not doing these videos to get any praise off anyone that'll hold myself accountable to kind of share with you all the type of meal ideas that i'm doing and if anyone's got any questions then fire away i'm an open book and i will chat to anyone <laughs> anyway right everyone take care have a great week and i'll speak to you soon bye